Hello, I'm Norman Clark with Norman Clark Painting. Today I'm going to show you how to do painting with rags, or in the trade we call ragging. The tools that we're going to need today are a painter's tray, a small two inch paintbrush, our paint, and a couple of white painter's rags. The first thing we're going to do is take our rag, roll it into a ball with a nice kind of a texture on it. In other words, look at what kind of, the, of a design the scrunched up rag has and if you like that you're ready to go you take this rag you scrunch it up and then you lightly dab it into the paint then you take the surplus off of the paint by dabbing it onto the top half of the tray and then you're ready to roll i have my painter's rag filled with paint right here i take another rag and i gently take off any excess paint because i'm going for a light very light finish. So you want to dab it until it's just damp with the paint so it doesn't have a big build up of paint. Once you're ready we're going to basically take the rag and dab it onto the wall in a random like manner. Now that's really important because you don't want to have a consistent pattern in the beginning. You will build up a pattern uh, by filling in little areas that are voids and, and stuff as you go along. And we start any way you like. Just Start dabbing in a random manner, twisting your hand, which is really important because it changes the direction of the pattern. You see? By just doing it random, you build up a consistency in the randomness. And you can keep going, even when there's very little on the, bra on the rag, very little paint on the rag, you can keep going and you can keep changing the design as you go along so it will give you a different type of pattern. For instance, I'll change it right now onto this. We'll do this pattern. So each one will give me a slightly different effect. Okay. And you can use this effect for kitchens, bathrooms, anywhere you like. You could also go over this with a, third, a second or third colour and really add a, a, a complication to the issue. So you could really make this a nice, uh, nicely complicated um, effect with very minimal cost and very little experience. It's a very effective technique to get a great result. I'm Norman Clark with Norman Clark Painting and today I showed you how to do ragging with painter's rags.